Welcome to this brief video on the steel number analysis and design module in TEDS. TEDS has several steel design calculations. Refer to the notes next to each calculation to learn more about the scope and limitations to help determine which calculation is right for your project. It can also be helpful to review or run one of the example calculations to understand the inputs and outputs. The steel member analysis and design calculation has more flexibility and options for design than the beam analysis and design module. When working through TED's calcs, it's always good practice to go from left to right and top to bottom and to review the information bar at the top of the screen. Start with design options to set up the code, section lists where you could choose historical sections, and the torsional buckling factor. If this is unchecked, the program will automatically calculate C sub B. The geometry setup is fast and flexible. TEDS allows for multiple spans and different end conditions depending on what's required for your project. Select the section size from the standard lists. Here you can also choose from different shapes such as wide flanges, channels, HSS members, etc. Or you can input your own properties for a custom section to be designed. An advantage of the member analysis and design calculation is the ability to slope beams. The beam will be designed for the axial loads as well as flexure and shear. Applying loads to the beam is easy yet still comprehensive. A large number of predefined or user-defined load cases can be created. When applying loads, we can place them on the member, and this looks at the entire beam as one regardless of spans. We can place them on elements, so each span between the nodes is considered an element, or we can place them on the nodes. Select the appropriate load type. Note that VDL is for a variable distributed load where the load starts at one value and goes up or down to another value that's not equal to zero. The trapezoidal load starts at some value and always goes down to zero. There are two options for defining the location or the extent of loads, and that is the ratio or the absolute. Ratio is especially convenient for sloped beams, where you may not know the exact sloped dimension, but you know a specific load is, let's say, at a quarter point of the member, for example, where one beam frames into another. Alternatively, you can change the type to absolute, and here you define the exact distance in feet. When inputting loads, positive load will act downward and negative load will act upwards. For multi-span beams, the program will automate pattern loading if selected for a given load case. Combinations can be input manually or generated automatically. Select the design code and then all the combinations will be listed below with the ones with cases in the current file automatically selected. You can choose to select or deselect as needed and the next screen will have options for modifying any load factors. The cases that were turned on as patternable now have the option for pattern loading, so go through and select which combinations you want to apply pattern loading to. For the deflection check, you're going to have control over each load combination on whether or not it's checked for deflection and what that check is. So you can set the span over factor or define an absolute limit. If both are defined, the program will check for the worst case. Finally, we need to define the lateral restraints, and this is done for each span separately. So make sure to select the design span and then select the lateral restraints command. You can quickly define if the top or bottom flanges are continuously braced, or you can add unique bracing points. There are several options to help automate the lateral bracing by defining the spacing between braces, equal number of brace points, or allow for unique user-defined locations. These can be defined at the top, bottom, or both flanges, and unlimited restraint points can be added. Click Preview Results to see a summary of the design checks, capacity, required forces, and utilization ratios with a pass-fail checkmark. Within the module, you can now make changes to any part of the design, including checking a different section size, until you get a passing design. For multi-span beams, you will need to change the design to each span and check the results for each span. And notice that you can also choose to include or exclude results for a given span in the output. The Output Options button allows you to customize how this calculation will look. 
select what information, both graphical and text, that you want displayed, as well as content information for both the analysis and design. Here on the main screen, you can review information about the, the design before proceeding to the output. So we can see analysis diagrams for individual load combinations or an envelope of combinations. In the preview output, you can see the entire report. Here you can select the level of detail of calculations, include or exclude specific checks, and add your own notes to the different checks within the calculation. Once you're happy with the design and the output, click Finish to complete the calculation. You can now scroll through and look at all of the calculations, the pass-fail statements, and you're ready to submit this document. So that brings us to the end of this brief video on the Steel Member Design Module in Tecla TEDS.